Five months after a sprinkler mishap causing more than $10,000 in damage, the Cincinnati Fire Museum still needs your help to cover some of the repairs. Local 12's Christian Hauser takes us inside the museum and shows us what was damaged. Bill Gumby Donovan is a retired firefighter and works with the Cincinnati Fire Museum. He says you can always find smiles on the kids' faces as they walk through. But adults too, you know, they start reminiscing or reflecting when they were a child and then they're introducing it to their kids. Donovan says the museum needs your help to cover some unexpected repair costs. Back in January, they had a mishap with a furnace that overheated. It pretty much triggered a sprinkler right above or right near it. The sprinkler just kept trying to put out a fire that wasn't there. Before it was discovered that this was going on, there was probably close to two or three inches of water that accumulated in the basement. The furnace wasn't the only thing damaged. Right underneath that area as well is alarm box, electrical activity going on there and it fried that. Aside from the electronics, the carpets were soaked and baseboards also damaged, but Donovan knows it could have been a lot worse. None of the artifacts were damaged. That was a biggie. A lot of the artifacts happened to be up high enough off the ground that they didn't get affected by the water. And it didn't trigger sprinklers anywhere else in the building, so everything on the main floor stayed dry. The fire museum has insurance, but it had to cover the cost of its $10,000 deductible, which wasn't in the budget. The nonprofit, which was formed in 1980, relies on donations and admission tickets to stay running. At the Fire Museum, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. If you'd like to help, we've linked information at local12.com.